Welcome to my channel Chemistry Not Mystery. You can also visit my website chemistrynotmystery.com. This video is also available in Hindi and you can get a link in the description box. So today we are going to learn how to solve MCQ on quantum numbers. If you want to revise the concept, you can download this mind map on my website or you can get its link in the description box. So let's try to solve first question based on it. Maximum number of 4D electrons having spin quantum number S is equal to minus half R. And these are the options. You have to find out the maximum number of electrons of 4D. In D, you know there are 5 orbitals. That means maximum 10 electrons can be filled in it. And what do you know? We know for upward spin. The spin quantum number is always plus half. For downward spin, the spin quantum number is always minus half. So when you fill electrons in 4D, so you have to fill electrons according to Hans rule. First you have to fill orbitals with single electron and after filling all the orbitals you can pair them up. So in this way, how many electrons with downward spin are there? There are total 5 electrons with downward spin. That means there are total 5 electrons with spin quantum number minus half. So the option B is the right option for this question. Now come to the next question. For which one of the following set of 4 quantum numbers an electron will have the highest energy? And these are the options. So we know energy is directly proportional to the n plus l value. So you have to focus on principal quantum number and azimuthal quantum number. So when you calculate the n plus l value for first set of quantum number, it will be equal to 5. For the second set, it is also equal to 5. For the third set, it is equal to 6. And for the fourth set, it is also equal to 5. So energy is directly proportional to the n plus l value. And you have got the maximum value in case of third set of quantum number. So the option C will have the highest energy among them. So the option C is the right option for this question. Now come to the next question. Which of the following is not permissible arrangement of electrons in an atom? And these are the options. So you have to find out the not permissible arrangement among them. So let's revise the rules of quantum numbers. For the given value of n, l can be 0 to n minus 1. That means l can never be equal to n value. And m is ranges from minus l to plus l. So let's examine each of them. n is equal to 5, l can be 3. And m can be 0. For the next option, n is equal to 3, l can be 2. But m cannot be equal to minus 3. For the l is equal to 2, m should be minus 2 to plus 2. But it can't be minus 3. So the option b is not possible among them. Now come to the next question. Principal, magnetic and azimuthal quantum numbers are respectively related to. And these are the options. Principal quantum number, it is denoted by small n. Magnetic quantum number, small m. And azimuthal quantum number is denoted by small l. Principal quantum number defines the orbit. Or you can say it tells you about the size of the atom. Azimuthal quantum number is for the subshell. It tells you about the shape of the subshell, whether it is a spherical, dumbbell or double dumbbell. And magnetic quantum number tells you about the orbitals or precisely it tells you about the orientation of the orbital, whether it is Px, Py or Pz and so on. And spin quantum number tells you about the spin of the electron. So here, which one is matching to our information? Option A is the right option for this question. Now come to the next question. The two electrons present in an orbital are distinguished by. For this, you can take the example of helium. 
its electronic configuration is 1s2. So both the electrons are present in the same orbit. So when you write the quantum number of both electrons, n is equal to 1 for the first electron and it is also 1 for the second electron and l for the first electron is 0 because it belongs to s subshell. For s, the value of l is 0. So l value for the second electron is also 0. Now come to the m. m can be minus l to plus l. If the l is 0, the m value is also 0. For the second electron, m value is also 0. Now come to the s, the spin quantum number. For the upward spin electron, the spin quantum number is taken by default as plus half. For the downward spin, it is equal to minus half. So when you compare these quantum numbers, you can easily find out that if the electron belong to the same orbital, it can have three quantum numbers same, but the spin quantum number cannot be same. So the option D will be the right option for this question. Now come to the next question. With the increase in principal quantum number, the energy difference between adjacent energy levels in hydrogen atom. And these are the options. If you recall the hydrogen spectrum, you know, in hydrogen spectrum, you will get different spectral lines, Lyman, Balmer, Parshian, Bracket, and Point. And their respective region is UV visible IR. So when you go, away from the nucleus for n is equal to 1 when you find out the difference Lyman series is obtained when electron jump from second level to first level so here we are getting difference between second to first level for Balmer the difference you got for 3 to 2 level for passion 4 to 3 level for bracket 5 to 4 level and for fun 6 to 5 level so on increasing the difference from the nucleus, the energy difference between the adjacent energy level decreases because when you move from Lyman to Bimer series, you can see from UV to IR, wavelength increases and wavelength is inversely proportional to the energy. That means energy decreases. When you move away from the nucleus, the energy difference between the adjacent level decreases. So option A is the right option for this question. Now come to the next question. The following quantum numbers are possible for how many orbitals? n is equal to 3, l is equal to 2 and m is equal to plus 2. So here, L is equal to 2. That means they are talking about D subshell. In D subshell, there are 5 orbitals. So the M value ranges from minus L to plus L. So for the first orbital, it will be minus 2, then minus 1, 0, plus 1 and plus 2. There is only one orbital with this set of quantum numbers. So the option A is the right option for this question. Now come to the next question. Maximum number of electrons in a subshell of an electron is determined by the following. And these are the options. And you know, total number of orbitals are always equal to 2L plus 1. And each orbital can be accommodated by maximum 2 electrons. So when you multiply this value by 2, you will get the number of electrons you will get 4L plus 2 number of electrons. So the option B is the right option for this question. Now come to the next question. Consider the following set of quantum numbers. Which of the following set of quantum number is not possible? So let's rewrite the rules of quantum numbers. For the n value of principal quantum number, L can be 0 to n minus 1 but it can never be equal to n. An m value n ranges from minus l to plus l. So here you have to find out the set of quantum number that is not possible. So let's examine each of them. 
for m is equal to 3, l can be 0 and m also can be 0. So this value is permissible. Now come to the next. n value is equal to 2 and l is also is equal to 2. But it is not possible because n and l can never be 0. So this set of quantum number is not possible. Now come to the next. n is equal to 4, l can be 3 and m also can be minus 2 because m ranges from minus l to plus l. So this is correct. Now come to the next. For n is equal to 1, l can be 0. But again here m cannot be minus 1. For the l is equal to 0, m can be 0 only. So this is the wrong set of quantum number. For n is equal to 3, l can be 2. And again m cannot be 3 because m value can ranges between minus l to plus l only. So this set of quantum number is also wrong. So find out the option in which 2, 4 and 5 is given. So in option C, 2, 4 and 5 are given as a not permissible option. So option C is the right option for this question. Now come to the next question. N is equal to 6. The correct sequence of filling of electrons will be. And these are the options. And we know energy is directly proportional to the n plus l value. For n is equal to 6, n s, we can write n s as 6 s and p can be written as 6 p n minus 1 d. n minus 1 d can be written as 5 d and n minus 2 f can be written as 4 f. So here, first you have to find out the n plus l value for each of them. For 6 s, n is equal to 6 and for s, l is equal to 0. So n plus l value will be 6 for it. For 6 p, n is equal to 6 and for p, L value is 1. So you will get 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. For 5 D, N is equal to 5. And for D, L is equal to 2. So 5 plus 2 is again 7. For F, so N is equal to 4. And for F, L value is equal to 3. So 4 plus 3 is also 7. So here you can see 6 is the lowest number. That means 6s will be filled first. Then how do you compare between them? Because they all have same n plus l value. So here you have to compare them on the basis of n value. The one that has maximum n value will have highest energy. So here the lowest energy will have 4f. So after 6s you will get 4f, then 5t and 6p will have the maximum energy. So what we have got? We have got here ns has lowest energy, then n minus 2f will have more energy than that, then n minus 1d, then np. So the option B will be the right option for this question. Now come to the next question. The correct set of four quantum numbers of valence electron of rubidium. And these are the options. If you know the place of rubidium in the periodic table, you don't have to write the whole electronic configuration for atomic number 37. You know it belongs to the first group. So in the first group, hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium and then rubidium. So rubidium belongs to the fifth period. So the configuration, outermost configuration for rubidium will be 5s1. Now find out the quantum numbers for this electron. So n is equal to 5, 
for s the value of l is equal to 0 m is also is equal to 0 and s will be plus of because this is unpaired electron so the option a is the right option for this question now come to the next question the orbital angular momentum of the electron is given as and these are the options so you know orbital angular momentum can be calculated by this formula for p electrons so for p the l is equal to 1 when you place the value in this formula you will get this and when you calculate it you will get under root 2 h over 2 pi so is there any option matching to our answer no there is no option matching answer so just simplify it when you simplify it you will get h over root 2 pi so this is the option d that is matching to our answer so the option d is the right option for this question i hope now you will be able to solve questions based on quantum numbers but if you have any doubt or feedback regarding this video you can post them in the comment box and don't forget to like and share this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get a notification you can also join my telegram channel or follow me on twitter or instagram thanks for watching keep learning stay safe